Medical Frontiers Vertical Bar Nature Analysis 的 Seven Most Notably New Technologies for 2023 and Stem Cell Technology Makes the Cut. Recently, Nature, a leading international academic journal, has selected the most anticipated technologies for 2023. From protein sequencing to electron microscopy, from archaeology to astronomy, here are seven technologies that could shake up the scientific community in the coming year. Stem cell technology is among the finalists. E. Single molecule protein sequencing. The protein represents the complete set of proteins produced by a cell. All organism and can provide insightful information about health and disease, but characterizing it remains challenging. Compared to nucleic acids, proteins are made up of larger building blocks with about 20 naturally occurring amino acids compared to the four nucleotides that form molecules, such as DNA and messenger RNA. This leads to greater chemical diversity. Some proteins exist in cells as just a few molecules, and unlike nucleic acids, proteins cannot be amplified, which means that protein analysis methods must use whatever material is available whenever possible. Single molecule technologies that can sequence many, if not all, of the Proteins in a sample may now be on the horizon. Many of them similar to those used for DNA. Edward Marcot, a biochemist at the University of Texas at Austin, is working on a method called fluorescence sequencing. Last year, researchers at Quantum Su, a biotechnology company in Guilford, Connecticut. Describe an alternative method to fluorescent sequencing that uses fluorescently labeled binding proteins to identify specific amino acid or peptide sequences at the ends of proteins. Our Webb Space Telescope, after a design and construction process that spanned more than two decades, NASA, in partnership with the European and Canadian. Space agencies successfully launched the James Webb Space Telescope (JWST) into orbit on deck. 25, 2021, the world had to wait and watch for nearly seven months while the instrument was deployed and oriented for its first round of observations. The wait was worth it. Matt Mundan. An astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, and telescope scientist for the Webb Space Telescope, said the initial images exceeded his expectations. The Webb Space Telescope was designed to take over the work of the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble has captured stunning views of the universe. But it also has a blind spot. It is largely invisible to ancient stars and galaxies with light signatures in the infrared band intercept. Thus, an instrument is needed that can sensitively detect extremely weak infrared signals originating millions of light years away. The final design of the Webb Space Telescope contains an array of shiba. Very smooth brilliant mirrors that, when fully extended, have a diameter of 6.5 meters. Among them are a combination of state-of-the-art near-dead and mid-infrared detectors. The telescope has also brought some surprises. For example, the ability to measure the atmospheric composition of certain exoplanets. Sun stereoscopic electron microscopy. Electron microscopy M is known for its excellent resolution, but mainly at the surface level of the sample. In depth studies, require slicing specimens into very thin slices, which 
is often not enough for biologists. Now, researchers are applying stereo electron microscopy to sandy tissue samples containing several cubic millimeters. Previously, reconstructing such volumes from RD M images, EDG mapping neural connections in the brain required painstaking sample preparation, imaging, and computational processes to transform these images into multi-image stacks. The latest volumetric electromagnetic technology has greatly simplified this process. Collinson described the rise of stereo electron microscopy as a quiet revolution in which researchers emphasize the results of the method rather than the technology used to produce them. But that's changing. For example, in 2021, researchers working on the organelle segmentation in electron microscopy COSM project at the Genelia Research Campus in Ashburn, Virginia highlighted substantial progress in mapping the interior of cells in nature, which is a very impressive proof of principle, says Collinson. Si, gene script writer CRISPR everywhere. The genome editing tool CRISPR-Cas still has rightfully earned a reputation as the preferred method for introducing defined changes at target loads across the genome driving breakthroughs in gene therapy, disease, modeling, and other areas of research. But its use is limited. Now, researchers are looking for ways to get around it. These limitations. Wu, high precision radiocarbon dating. Last year, archaeologists used advances in radiocarbon dating to determine the exact year and even season when Viking explorers first arrived in the Americas. Since the 1940s, scientists have been using radiocarbon dating of organic artifacts to narrow down the dates of historical events. They did this by measuring traces of the isotope carbon-14, which is the result of cosmic rays interacting with the Hun Earth's atmosphere and decay slowly over thousands of years. But this technology is usually only accurate to within a few decades. Precise radiocarbon dating of timber from the Ansox Ranch, Newfoundland, Canada, shows that the Vikings felled a tree at the site in 1021. Archaeologists are now applying this method to Neolithic settlements and volcanic eruption sites and they hopes to use it to study the main empire in Mesoamerica. Single-cell metabolomics Metabolomics, the study of the lupus, carbohydrates and other small molecules that drive cells began as a set of methods to characterize metabolites in a population of cells or tissues that is now moving to the single-cell level. Scientists can use this cellular level data to unravel the functional complexity of a large number of seemingly identical cells. Alexandro's team used the spasm to profile hundreds of metabolites in tens of thousands of human and mouse cells, turning to standard single cell transcription methods to classify these cells. Alexandro said he was particularly interested in the latter aspect and the idea of assembling a metabolomics atlas similar to the one developed for transcriptomics to accelerate progress in the field. This is certainly a frontier area and will be a huge driving factor. T. Stem cells create embryos. The journey from the fertilized egg to the fully formed embryo has been met in detail at the cellular level in mice and humans. But the molecular mechanisms that drive the early stages of this process are still poorly understood. 
Now, a range of activities in embryonic like models is helping to fill this knowledge, perhaps giving researchers a clearer view of the important early events that determine the success or failure of fetal development. Some of the most complex models come from the lab of Magdalena Zernica Gass, a developmental biologist at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena and the University of Cambridge in the United Kingdom. In 2022, she and her team demonstrated that they could generate embryonic stage mouse embryos entirely from embryonic stem cells. A germline body, composed of cells resembling the egg cell stage of the embryo, like all peripetent stem cells, as cells can form any cell or tissue type, but they need to interact closely with two types of extra embryonic cells to complete normal embryonic development. At the Guangzhou Institute of Biomedicine and Health Chinese Academy of Sciences, stem cell biologist Miguel Esteban and his colleagues are taking a different check, reprogramming human stem cells to mimic the earliest stages of development. Our initial thought was that it was actually even possible to create fertilized eggs, Esteban said. The team did not fully achieve this goal, but they identified a culture strategy to push these stem cells back to a state similar to that of an H cell human embryo. This is an important developmental milestone associated with a dramatic shift in gene expression that ultimately leads to a different embryonic and extra embryonic cell lineage again. In many countries, research on human embryos is limited to developmental stages beyond the days, but there is still much that researchers can do within these limits. Overall, these models can help researchers map out how just a few cells lead to the amazing complexity of the vertebrate body. Of these seven new technologies, five are in the biomedical field, suggesting that the RE street scent